In today's video, we'll be delving into the performance nuances that distinguish painted from unpainted B-17 bombers. These aircraft were designed to embody the semi-monocoque stress skin construction, where the integral load-bearing elements are the skins. Collaboratively, internal stringers and frames share the load, creating a resilient structure. The conduits of structural integrity are formed by rivet fasteners, serving as vital pathways between the skins. Drawing parallels with contemporary aviation, the outer aluminum skin's mirror materials like copper-based aluminum 2024 T4 clad sheet. They are predominantly fashioned from the thin 24 ST clad sheet, revealing a meticulous balance in design. Zooming into specifics, the sidewall gauge of a fuselage, excluding paddock reinforcement, typically maintains a thickness of 0.032 inches. In this segment, we'll explore the displayed chart showcasing the skin gauge thickness of the unrolled fuselage of the B-17. The choice of clad aluminum is driven by its outstanding resistance to corrosion. The pure aluminum surface not only enhances the panel's resistance to corrosion, but also lends it a glossy appearance, thanks to the clad layer. However, it's worth noting that despite its duller look, bare or non-clad aluminum, boasts a 10% increase in strength and is employed for additional robustness. To address some of the corrosion concerns in bare aluminum, an anodized conversion coating is often applied. Notably, there are B-17 wing doubler panels featuring bare aluminum, reinforced for added strength. Now we'll dissect the material composition of B-29 crown fuselage panels and B-17 wing skin gauge aluminum alloy, as highlighted in the graphic. Notably, the B-29 crown fuselage panels are constructed from barrel aluminum, while the B-17 wing skin gauge graphic underscores the prevalence of bare aluminum panels. These panels, though dull finished, exhibit robustness, making them capable of supporting heavy weights. Examining the chart, it becomes evident that the B-29 wing center section fuselage crown panels are not only twice as thick, but also boast a 10% increase in strength. The comprehensive chart further outlines the B-29's fuselage panel specifics, aluminum alloys used, and corresponding gauges. These aircraft were originally crafted with a camouflage scheme, featuring top surfaces painted in an olive drab green and bottom surfaces adorned in a subdued gray. Deployed initially in the European theater in August 1942, these color choices were strategically made to seamlessly blend with the surrounding terrain and fade into the skyline during flight. However, the effectiveness of this camouflage was challenged by German integrated tracking radar and the noise generated by contrails, making daytime bombing missions considerably challenging. In a bid to cut production costs, reduce weight, and expedite delivery, Unpainted B-17S were dispatched to the 8th and 15th Army Air Forces in February 1944. Notably, the manufacturing rate surged to approximately 17 deliveries per day in the first quarter of 1944. The crews of the unpainted aircraft were concerned about possible German targeting when both painted and unpainted bomber squadrons were sent out. The Army Air Forces carried out airborne tests in March 1944 to evaluate the differences in performance between painted and unpainted B-17. The testing included varying the aircraft's power, speed, and altitude settings using a B-17G model to provide a thorough assessment. It is important to note that these evaluations occurred after the decision to stop painting the outside of B-17s was taken. Two priming base coats were applied as part of the camouflage exterior paint system, after which platform view surfaces were painted an olive drab hue or planform view surfaces were painted a single natural gray color. The weight gain was determined by comparing the two weights before and after painting, which came to a total of 75 pounds for the paint and primer. This painstaking procedure not only produced a good camouflage, but also added to the aircraft's overall performance concerns by striking a balance between the necessity of concealment and the realities of weight management in flight. The B-17G flight test report states that at altitudes of 24,900 feet and 5,100 feet, a painted B-17 exhibits a 2 to 4.5 mile per hour gain in speed over an unpainted B-17 with similar engine power.
up to 5,100 feet, this pattern continues. The paint leaking into the spaces between skin, lap joint filler seams, and rivet heads is thought to be the cause of the increased speed. Furthermore, compared to its untreated cousin, the painted B-17 has reduced aerodynamic drag. A detailed examination of the data in actual combat flying scenarios might provide insightful information to obtain a more complete understanding. Ascending to 24,900 feet, a B-17 can achieve true air speeds ranging between 222 to 229 miles per hour, derived from its indicated airspeed registering between 150 to 155 miles per hour. In order to uphold an equivalent airspeed to a painted B-17, an unpainted counterpart must amplify its engine power by 3%. This discrepancy suggests that over the same mission range, an unpainted B-17 is anticipated to consume approximately 3% more fuel. To put it in perspective, this means an unpainted B-17 demands an additional 80 gallons of gasoline compared to its combat-ready counterpart, typically stocked with around 2,700 gallons. Recognizing these fuel consumption nuances becomes pivotal for both operational planning and logistical efficiency. Additionally, comprehending the impact of these fuel consumption disparities on overall mission logistics and the potential implications for extended missions or unforeseen contingencies is vital for effective strategic planning. A B-17 consumes approximately 50 gallons of gasoline per engine hour, and when cruising at standard formation speeds, a painted B-17 enjoys a 90-mile range advantage. To meet equivalent range requirements, a painted B-17 must utilize an additional 490 pounds of gasoline compared to its unpainted counterpart. Interestingly, the 490 pounds necessary for the unpainted B-17 to meet performance targets is notably less than the 75 pounds of paint. Considering that B-29 are designed with aerodynamically clean air-wetted surfaces, it's improbable that they would require the extra engine power necessary for an unpainted airframe to maintain the same speed. Recognizing these fuel and weight differentials contributes crucial insights for optimizing aircraft performance and strategic mission planning. Additionally, understanding the nuanced relationship between fuel consumption, weight distribution, and aerodynamics becomes essential for efficient resource utilization in diverse mission scenarios.